South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. He is a 2024 GOP presidential candidate. Welcome, Senator. Thank you very much. Good to be with you. Yes, a big day, Senator. The student loan decision came down. Biden struck down using Pelosi's words. Uh, but President Biden said he has a workaround. The Higher Education Act apparently is his next shot. What do you think of it? Well, here's what we know. The Supreme Court said exactly what every American that I know understands. If you take out a loan, you pay it back. There's no reason for us to ask nurses, aides, and welders to pay for the student loans of doctors and lawyers making six figures. This is what you call common sense being seen by the Supreme Court and ruling consistent with common sense. It also saves the American people somewhere between 500 billion and a trillion dollars. It is a significant impact and it also reigns in President Biden's ridiculous efforts to actually appease his base by doing something we say giveaways, just plain old giveaways. Senator, you know, speaking of this politically, Biden is hemorrhaging voters 18 to 29. But how do you convince them they are not victims of a so-called MAGA court? They have been defrauded by Joe Biden. Well, it's very simple. I said it first. If you take out a loan, you pay it back. That's what we call common sense. It's also consistent with our American values. But more importantly, the ROI, the return on the invested dollar of student loans, is $2 million in lifetime earning for a $35,000 worth of student loans. This is an easy math equation. If you graduate from college, you will have the resources to pay it back. So many Americans today, like my mom, never had an opportunity to go to college. I don't ask her to make my student loan payments when I had student loans. I thank God Almighty that I'm the first college graduate in my family. It is an easy conversation to have filled with common sense. But what happens under President Biden, he continues to look for ways to attract voters through giveaways. We also see the results of Printing and spending $4 trillion, it led to 16% inflation where single mothers like the one that raised me, she has to make a decision. Can she put gas in the car? Can she cool her home? And frankly, 20% increase in the price of food in this nation. Senior citizens on fixed incomes because of Bidenomics, hmm. they are suffering today with a loss of $10,000 of spending power. That whole mess of numbers is an equation called, it's time to fire Joe Biden and elect Tim Scott. Go to votetimscott.com, join the revolution. Well, Senator Tim Scott, thank you very much for your thoughts today. Have a great weekend. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.